Bible says the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. All right. So um, if you are not familiar with some social media platforms, I will encourage you to uh, get on TikTok and, and get on uh, some of these uh, platforms because it's interesting the things that are happening around you. You know, I came in contact with a conversation and that inspired this today's podcast i'm reading from the book of hebrews chapter 12 the verse number 14 it says now it says now um work at living in peace with everyone work at living in peace with everyone and that's why i want to talk about that a bit so uh, back to the tech tech experience so uh, i'm still new to the platform but i post most of my podcasts there all right and so as i was sliding through now when you slide through you can bump into people that are already in conversation some of them is about dating some of them is like meeting singles so there's there's a creator who start the life and brings people in sometimes they bring a lot of girls and single guys will come around and strike conversations and sometimes it's just very therapeutic you see uh, one person start a conversation and all mothers all wives will come around and share their experience so yesterday i bumped into one of those conversations and it was um the conversation was about people that travel from Africa to come and live with people who are already in abroad. And they, they were sharing some of their bitter experiences. They were sharing some of their uh, challenges they went through. Some of the time they end up breaking their marriages and everything. And as they were sharing, I recognized that um, it was healing them, which is a really good thing. But there was something that was missing the conversation. I want to use this podcast because some of you might experience that but in general the book of hebrews says work at living at peace with all with everyone the word everyone means that all types of people you understand it is easy to live at peace with people that is peaceful it's easy to live at peace with people that are not lazy it is easy to live at peace with people who are very um proper right but the verse says live at peace with everyone that means that those who are difficult and those who are not difficult i want to share two or three things i feel that it can be a very helpful thing for you to understand and the first thing i want you to understand is that um living with people is a very difficult uh thing it takes a person who is very 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 mature in who they are to be able to live with people the first thing i want to talk about is the fact that god places blessings in task that requires sacrifice God places blessings in tasks that require sacrifice. And so you are listening to me and you're probably living with somebody who's not your biological child. You are in abroad and you are living with somebody who is renting a room from you. You are living with somebody who just travel and you give them a favor. And so many stories are happening. But I want you to hear this first principle. God attached blessings to sacrifice. That is why I'm not too happy with the way things are going with everybody trying to get paid for sacrifices in the house of god right god attached blessings to sacrifice so the first thing i want to say is that when you live with somebody you are living with a blessing and the worse the person is the higher your blessing sometimes we don't understand that God is wiser, God is more intelligent, God is more knowledgeable than us. So we tend to, out of our not ability to endure, we tend to think that this don't make sense. But I want you to understand that every difficult person you ever live with will bring into your account a blessing. In the same way, just explore. Sometimes go on YouTube, type prophetic ministries. 
and watch how the prophetic gift operates. You will come in contact with a, a person standing in front of the prophet. A 15, 17, 18, 20 year old girl. And the girl is going through a series of painful episodes. And God will tell the prophet, ask her what is her auntie's name. He said, her auntie's name is Mama Joyce. He said, tell her that Mama Joyce about 17 years ago helped this young man for six months. And the sacrifice Mama Joyce did, I'm going to use it to speak. Uh, do you hear what I'm trying to say? So what I want you to understand is that be take advantage of blessings that nobody can take from you. So the first point is that it is a blessing to host a difficult person. It's a blessing to spend time. So that spiritual perspective is not there. So we quickly run to things that make sense physically, but doesn't make sense spiritually. The second thing is that Whatever is difficult to do when it comes to pursuing peace with all men. If you allow yourself, God will give you the grace. I'm, my, my podcast, I'm sure I will get no views for this one because it's not popular. Those who are preaching peace don't get views. Those who are preaching beef get beef, get views. Those who are preaching peace don't get views. Those who are preaching beef Will get more views because bad news sells. But number one, it's a blessing to take over, to be with, to host a difficult person. It's a blessing to host a person who is not all together. And number two, you also have to recognize that as you are living with a person, you are also becoming a better person. It takes irritation to build patience. It takes negativity. It takes negativity. It takes negativity to bring the positive out of you. And so I just want to share that with you a little bit. I know it might not be what you want to hear, but I want you to understand that it's difficult to live with people. And that's how God blesses those who are able to do it. And number two, anything that irritates you, anything that annoys you, it is also showing you your patience level, your tolerance level, and your sacrifice. And lastly, God will never rehold strength and grace from you if you want to pursue righteousness. God will never rehold grace and strength from you if you want to pursue righteousness. Any person you have helped in your life, it will always follow you for the rest of your life god reward those who do difficult things he said it in his word if you are kind to those who are kind to you i don't bless you read your bible if you are good to those who are good to you i the lord i do not bless you i only bless people who are kind to those who are difficult our work is cut off for us. So that's the perspective I want to bring in. So you dig down deep and you let something flow out of your life. Because after you have helped a person who was ungrateful, after you have helped a person who paid you even in a bad thing, you have stored perpetual monument. Oh, Radimis to her make it this day perpetual monument so our struggle is because nothing is speaking for us he said cornelius your arms and your giving is speaking as a memorial before me when you see a difficult task see a memorial that's all i came to say all right god bless you